Example two, financial planners estimate you will require an income of $2,500 per month to retire. You dial a psychic and discover that you're going to live exactly 15 years. How much money will you need to retire if your first withdrawal will be in one month? Interest is going to be 9% compounded monthly. So let's draw a bit of a timeline here. Start with a line and I'm going to start with today and then write in one month. I haven't left myself a huge amount of room and I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm going to go up to here and say that's 180 months or 15 years. And then here is uh, 179 months. Let's start putting in some things. I'm going to put some money in now. I have to put some money in and I don't know what that is. Then I'm going to take out $2,500 every single month, starting one month from today and ending exactly 15 years from today where I take out my last payment and then I am going to not no longer need any money. At the end of the day, I don't have any money left. That's important because otherwise I couldn't calculate this. So let's look at this. I'm putting in a bunch of money now and at the end I have zero. In this case, my balance is definitely shrinking. So I would call this an amortization. Looking at my chart, you can see that I'm taking those payments out at the end of the month. And one thing is, if it's unclear, we treat it at the end of the month. That's what we mean by ordinary. That's the normal course of events. Finally, we've got our PY and CY. So I'm taking out monthly payments and uh, I'm compounding monthly. Those are the same. And that's because I have J12 equals nine. Let's put this into the calculator and you should get used to drawing this out because we do this for every example. Okay. In this case, I said PY and CY were both 12. I can write 12, 12, or I could write those together. Either way, it's going for 15 years, and that is 180 months. And I'm just going to put in, and that's 15 times 12. Our interest rate is 9, and I'm going to start out, well, that's what I'm trying to find. I don't know how much money I start out with, but I'm going to take money out, so I'm going to make this payment negative because my balance is shrinking. My future value, I said that should be negative as well, but it's actually zero, so it's a negative zero. It's coming at the end of the month, so begin is off. So let's put this in. I'm gonna show you by pressing recall. I still have everything in for my last example. I can overwrite, overwrite that, just start putting it in, or I can press second clear TVM. And then, if you look at it, everything is now zero. But PYCY will still need changing. They don't clear when I clear that. If I change PY to 12, notice that CY changes as well. That's very handy for us when we're working on a simple annuity. N is 180, IY is nine. The present value is what I'm computing. 2,500 negative is the payment and future value is zero. So I'll compute the present value and we get a very big number. I need to have $246,483.52 uh, to retire today. That's great if I have that much money. Later on, we're gonna talk about how you would go about trying to save that much money, which makes a lot more sense. Let's uh, do the interest calculation. We call that interest, when we borrow something, we call that cost of financing, cost of borrowing. You're going to see this a lot. And that's going to be money out minus money in. Or the money we pay minus the money borrowed. There's lots of ways of doing interest, but in the end, you should get a positive number because it doesn't make sense to have negative $5 of interest. So in this case, let's look at this question. Our interest payment is going to be, well, I took out 180 payments of $2,500 and we deposited 
$246,483.52. And I'm gonna round that. So if I do this, I go 180 times 2,500, oops. Minus two four six four eight three point five two equals two hundred and three thousand dollars. So we actually made quite a lot of interest, and that's because we had a fairly good interest rate of nine percent. But also, this was invested for fifteen years. That's a long time for money to compound.